Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you make a post call to OpenAI API. And here we are using Python as our primary programming language. So in order to get started, you need to go to openai.com and click on APIs, API. So there you need to log in. So once it is logged in, you need to go to documentation. And in the documentation on the left hand side panel, you can see API reference. So here you need to click on completions. This completion section will give you the required endpoint where we need to put our request. And it also has request body parameters. So there are various parameters, model, prompt, suffix, tokens, temperature, and a lot more. So definitely you can go ahead and read about these individual parameters. But the one which I'm going to discuss here is stream, which is very important for us to make this particular call. And here you can see that stream is like a Boolean parameter and it tells whether you want to receive the response back from the server. So that's where you need to set this parameter. And in our case, we need response from the server so that we can show it to the user. So that's why we'll be setting this particular parameter as true. And another important information here is this particular line. So whenever the stream is terminated, you will find that a message return response with the done. So whenever done is there in your response, it means stream is over and there is no more data to process. So we are going to follow this particular thing. And here on the right hand side, you can see some examples are given. So this particular example is using SDK, but we will be going through API call. And these are the parameters uh, which can be supplied whenever we are making a request. And uh, another thing is the response. So I will talk about it in a while, but before that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get into my virtual environment first. So scripts and then activate. Once it is done, we will uh, we need to go ahead and install the required module. So the very first module which we need is requests. So say pip install requests and the second module which we need is SSE client so you can see SSE client hyphen pi this module uh, this provides the Python client which can easily integrate with uh, the request so it would be easy for us to read the response and display it to the user so once these two are done let's go ahead and import these two packages along with one more so import SSE client and next we need is JSON because we are going to send our data in the form of JSON. So once these modules are imported, we need to define our API key because using API key only we are going to make this call. And the next parameter is endpoint. So here I would, uh, I need to define the endpoint which we can grab it from the portal. You can simply copy this line and use it here okay and once this is done next thing we need to do is we need to provide the parameters that will go with request body that will request body so that I would name as let's not give space here input and it would be in the form of JSON so I will quickly grab the ones which I have written and will paste it over here then comes so okay let me explain here model is the one which we are using and the prompt is the statement which is provided by the user so let's take this an example get me a tagline for birthday party and max token temperature and the stream so make sure that you are put uh, setting stream as true because here we want to read the response whatever server is sending us next thing is we need to set the uh, headers which will uh, go along with our request so i would again create another json here and here first one would be the accept which will have parameter text 
uh, with event stream and next we need is the authorization and which we will be taking as bearer along with our api key which we have def already defined above once this is done next we need to go ahead and make a call so i will store that output in response so here post request will take a few parameters the first one is the endpoint second one is the stream wherein we will be setting it as true third one is the headers so let's initialize it with the one which we created above and the fourth one is the json which is nothing but the input parameters which needs to go with our request so once these are done we next thing we need to set is the ssc client so let me make it like that and ssc client dot ssc so here we need to call the constructor which will take response okay we are all good the only thing remaining is uh, we need to read this response which is uh, coming in the form of uh, events so here we would say for event in sse client dot events okay and as i mentioned that uh, done is the word which will come in our stream to tell us that okay we are done with our stream so here we will check that particular thing using data whenever data is not equal to done then only we will go ahead and process that so here and the last thing is we need to print this output so that would be using load string and we will say event dot data now let me quickly show you how we can construct this output so here uh, under the response you can see that this is how we will get but we are not interested in all the things we just need one single line as our output so what we can do is we can go here under the choices we can read text value so under choices we need to read the text value so let's frame that thing here so events data and then we will have choices and then under zeroth index we will have text okay so once this is done we can just pass the default uh, some parameters which are of print function and we want to flush the stream once it is read so let's do like this so we are done with our code the only thing remaining is the api key now to grab the api key you can go to portal again click on your name and here you can see view api keys so you can go ahead and generate new one if you have not uh, already copied this one because you have no way to go ahead and read these keys okay so if you have copied just grab that otherwise you can go ahead and click the new key in my case i have already grabbed it so let me quickly copy that here okay and now run it So it is saying that, okay, so I miss one comma here. And you can see that the output here is celebrate in style. So whenever I'm giving this line, uh, get me a tagline for birthday party to chat GPT, it is giving me celebrate in style. So this is how easy it is to make a call using the and points. I hope you find this video useful and do not forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.